I think uh, your listeners may not realize what the scope of this election is at this time, but um, uh, if Obama were elected, it would mean a definitive, huge change in America in every facet, every uh, thing that America has ever stood for, every policy it's ever had will be stood on its head should he be elected. It's a simple choice between Marxism and the Republican form of democracy that this nation has enjoyed for 200 years. So you regard Obama as, as a Marxist? No question. Okay, and, and can I ask you about, about the bank bailout, which the Bush administration has just announced, which essentially means that the American government is effectively nationalizing the banks, giving them huge amounts of money, and essentially becoming shareholders in the banks. Is that not very socialist as well? Well, it verges on it, and it could be were it allowed to run its full course. I think, uh, as it's proposed, it is a temporary thing in order to bolster the economy and get things back on track so that we can maneuver back to where we belong. But, um, again, if Obama's elected, I think that could become a permanent fixture in the American uh, uh, landscape. Uh, Pastor Pierce, actually, we, we just had a text in this moment from one of our callers who, who asks a very simple question, what is the KKK? Perhaps, perhaps your best place to, I mean, obviously, people have very strong views on both sides on that organization. I, I, I've read your membership requirements, and I might read some of those out, but, but maybe you'd tell us in your words what, what the KKK means to you and, and, and how, how you would define it. Well, I think it's best defined by its, its character uh, in today's world. Uh, we are legally chartered. We're recognized by the state and the federal government. Uh, we are uh, authoritative and comprehensive. Uh, in 2014, the Ku Klux Klan will be part of the American tapestry for 150 years. That's 150 years of being topical, of being uh, uh, needful, and of uh, being supported in America. Right. And I think that's... Uh, if, if I can just read out some of the membership requirements from your own website, one of them is you must be a free white male or female of European descent, at least 18 years of age, uh, you must be able to profess faith in Jesus Christ. You must not be married to or date people of other races or have mixed race dependents, which includes adopted children. You must agree to conform to the rules of the order. Um, and uh, under no circumstances will we accept membership of homosexuals, atheists, or those who've been found mentally insane. Um, you must also be a U.S. citizen. No foreigners are allowed. Um, so if I can just ask you... Um, because well, I, I see on your website as well, you, you don't believe in, in, in essentially what you call the mixing of races, which is you know people of different races having children together. Would you find Barack Obama easier to accept as a president if both his parents had been black? Um, it is not a matter of accepting him because of his race. Race is not an issue with us. Well, it, it's, it, does, it, does, it does say on your website that you must not be married or date people of other races. That's from your, yeah, your that's own website. For, that's that's for membership. That's not a qualification to be president. Oh, okay. All right. No, I'm just. I'm, I just. I just genuinely. Th I think there is confusion about this. So, 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 what is what is the qualification to be president? Why, 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 why do you object to him being president if if he if that uh, again, happens? Again, because of his Marxist uh, leanings, um, what the, the direction he wants to take this country in uh, defies all of the history and culture of America from its very inception to this hour. Okay. And uh, I believe that his policies will lead to a uh, deterioration uh, of our nation and its uh, way of life. And uh, I don't think it's uh, conducive to uh, continuing this nation. Can I ask how you feel about Sarah Palin? Because she is married to, uh, to a man who is part Inuit, uh, indigenous uh, to the, the people of Alaska. I mean, do you, do you have an issue with that as well? Or is that, would that also be a problem? Well, that has no bearing at all. Again, we're okay. back to issues. Uh, Okay. And, uh, and I, I, on, on the issues, I mean, I mean, I mean, how do you feel about Sarah Palin? Well, um, she is in agreement with us on several areas, but not in others. Uh, the McCain platform as a whole is pro-illegal uh, immigrant. They will not secure this nation's borders. Um, frankly, that ticket's no prize either. Uh, but it's half a step back from what the Obama campaign promises. I see. I, I see in The Economist magazine, they, they, they launched a program with a global electoral college. They said if every country in the world had a vote, who would get votes for who, McCain or Obama? And uh, the only countries which are leaning towards McCain were Algeria, Iraq, the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is currently very unstable, and curiously Cuba. I wondered if you had a response to that. Well, the only response is that uh, vast portions of Europe and uh, in other countries in the world are either socialist countries 
or uh, they live under some other regime other than our Republican style of government. So naturally, his platform would appeal to their sensibilities. And, and yet we've just witnessed one of the greatest failings of the market economy in, in world history. I mean, I mean, does that not in some way undermine your belief in absolute, you know, that, 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 that there isn't some sort of halfway house between what you call socialism and, and you know, the Republican democracy? Well, uh, uh, clearly, clearly, no. clearly the deregulation strategy just hasn't worked in practice. As they haven't worked in the UK either, I've noticed. So well, we're, we're not in the UK. We're, we're actually this is actually an Irish station, so we're we're in. We're right. I understand, Republic. but I'm just saying they haven't worked in the UK either. They're also having uh, market difficulties and problems. So there's no uh, proof here that that style of government is any insulation against the present conditions. And you would regard the UK as Marxist? No, they are socialist. Ah, okay, socialist. Okay, well, that's that's a def. I mean, that, that's that's a, they have a labor government, I suppose. But whether whether the labor government has been socialist in any of the last ten years would be highly questionable by a lot of people in this part of the world. Um, one final, we, we've got a texter in here who says, um, asked that if you're if you're a Christian organization, um, given that Jesus Christ was born in well, what would now what, Bethlehem, which is now part of Palestine, so was effectively a Palestinian Jew, and that his father was God, was he not technically of mixed race as well? We do not believe that. We believe we have biblical evidence that uh, is quite contrary to that type of thinking. Okay, because well, well, he certainly wasn't a European. I mean, you, you couldn't claim that Jesus was of European descent. Uh, well, no, there weren't uh, yeah, a lot, although there were Europeans at the time, uh, but we do believe that he was not uh, Jewish, he was not Arabic. Uh, or of any of those races. So, so what, 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 what race was he? And, 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 and just that point on, on the fact that his, his mother was, you know, a, a, at least human and his father was divine, so is that not in some way a sort of a make, make a mixed race? Uh, no, 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 not at all, because we were all, we, the uh, or origin of the species, you could say, was from God, so there is no conflict there at all. Okay, okay. And uh, his mother, uh, we believe, was uh, Caucasian, and uh, that her history and heritage and her lineage... Caucasian? Uh, that at that, in that place and at that time, Caucasian? Yeah. I, I just, I think, okay, that, that, fair enough. I, I just, I just, I just, I can't see how demographically that, that make, or historically that, that could be, could be, but I, 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 okay, I, I, I find, I find it interesting. Back, you, you really have to go back to 70, some 70 years before Christ was born when the people of that area were taken away into bondage and uh, many of them deported to various places throughout the world. And uh, what we have is the children of Israel being taken into, into captivity and what, what, quote, returns to Palestine. Yeah, the children of Israel, though, the, are the children of Israel. Because we, ha we have a quote here, how could the king of Jews not be a Jew? Which I think is a fair he question. He never proclaimed himself king of the Jews. That was Pontius Pilate who wrote that. Okay. All right. Well, listen, we've one, one final question for you, which is, which is, I mean, Barack Obama has, has an, a very compelling personal history. Uh, and, you know, I mean, he, he born into relative poverty uh, to an, an African father and a, a mother from Kansas. Um, both of his father left very early and he barely, barely knew him. His mother died relatively young, brought up by his grandparents. And yet, despite that relative poverty, he managed to, to succeed through some of the best schools in America, Harvard and so on, um, edited the Harvard Law Review, and, and he's now, you know, on the verge of, of, of achieving the greatest office in the land. Isn't that kind of the absolutely typical American dream? That's one of the things that concerns us. There's no paper trail to that American dream. We find he gets a house at a bargain price uh, from a shady associate. We find uh, his law records when he practiced law. We can't find one person who says, I was a client. Okay. We can't find where this wonderful sources came from okay he's and, a man of mystery and do you believe he's, he's a, do you believe he's a christian or do, are, you, are you of those who, who seem to i have no idea have no i idea. have no idea okay. what uh religion he is i'm not persuaded one way or another he says he's a christian um but i've yet to hear him make a profession of faith so i don't know Okay, well, Pastor Pierce, look, it's been very interesting talking to you. Thank you very much for taking our call. It's always interesting to hear different perspectives here. We're certainly getting a lot of text in, a lot of opinions, and uh, we'll, we'll keep those coming. Thank you very much for joining us.